Hello everybody, today we are solving by completing the square and the important thing I want to point out is I'd like you to write your answer in exact simplified form. Your textbook says to round to the nearest hundredth, please don't do that. Um, so I don't need you to get a calculator and do that, we're just going to write in exact form. So let's complete the square. Um, half of our B term is half of 5 which is 2.5. I'm just going to uh, think of that as five halves because it's going to be easier to deal with in square. So half of five is five over two and five halves squared is 25 fourths. So we are just going to add 25 fourths to both sides of our equation. And we'll get x squared minus 5x plus 25 fourths is equal to 8 plus 25 fourths. Okay, We are ready to factor the left side, which will factor as a perfect square, x minus 5 halves squared is equal to... Okay, over here we're going to want a common denominator, so um, we'll think of this as 8 over 1. When we multiply by 4 over 4, we get 32 fourths plus 25 fourths, which is just going to turn out to be 57 fourths. So we'll have x minus 5 halves squared is equal to 57 fourths. Okay. We completed the square. We simplified. We will take the square root of both sides. Take the square root. Take the square root. We get x minus 5 halves is equal to plus or minus the square root of 57 fourths. So all we really have to do is get x by itself and simplify this radical. So we can't have a fraction under the radical. We've got to use our quotient rule. x minus 5 halves is equal to plus or minus the square root of 57 over the square root of 4. Oh, but the square root of 4, that's just the number 2. So x minus 5 halves is equal to plus or minus the square root of 57 over 2. Okay, we need to get x by itself. We will simply add 5 halves to both sides. And we'll get x is equal to 5 halves plus or minus the square root of 57 halves. And I have a common denominator here already. I would accept this as a, as a full credit answer here. But I'd prefer, if you have a common denominator, just write x is equal to 5 plus or minus the square root of 57. This is all over 2. And we cannot simplify the square root of 57 anymore. There's no perfect square factors of 57. We don't have any radicals in the denominator. We don't have any fractions in the radical. We're done. Have a great day, folks.